hello everyone in this tutorial we will learn about java methods and these are the points that we are going to discuss what is a method how to declare a method and how to call a method i will cover all these points with an example so keep watching till end and you can refer my notes mentioned in a description now let's get started first we are going to discuss about what is a method method is an action or a function used to perform a particular task let's think as a real life point of view to drive to brake to stop these are the actions of a car similarly talking walking eating these are the actions of a human right similarly in a java we need to perform some action to accomplish a certain task such as ringing calling send data receive data these are the actions or functions of a mobile phone and we can write actions using a method in a java so basically in a java method is a function it is used to perform certain task in the program to get the expected result okay now let's discuss about how to declare a method or we can say how to create a method to declare a method we need to follow the syntax and syntax is nothing but the set of rules that we have to follow to write the code of a program we can use following syntax first we have to write the access modifier next to the access modifier there will be a return type return type followed by the method name and method accept parameters if needed then we can pass parameters here and this is a method body method body is enclosed by a curly braces and inside a method body we have to write the code to perform a certain task so we can write like this public is the access modifier int is a return type add numbers is a method name and int p and int q is the parameters okay now first we are going to discuss about access modifier access modifier is also called as the access specifier and we can use four type of access modifier for a method it's a public private protected and default so access modifier is used to control the access level or a scope of a method in a program that means suppose if i create my profile on a social media and set my profile as a public then everyone can see my profile right similarly if we declare method as a public then this method will accessible for all classes that is we can use this method in all classes in our program and in a single program there can be a multiple classes now we are going to discuss about return type return type specify what type of value a method will return now let's think as a real life point of view if we order a pizza then we know that we will get pizza as a return right so we can write like this now see here this method has a food return type because this method is returning a pizza and pizza is a type of food that's why this method has a food return type similarly if method has a integer return type then this method return an integer value now see here this method has a integer return type because this method is returning a sum that is return certain number and we know that in a java all numeric numbers is of integer type that's why this method has a integer return type similarly if method has a float return type then the method returns an float value and if method has a void return type then method won't return any value simply keep in mind void means nothing is written now we are going to discuss about method name method name should typically represent what its task is that is method name indicate that what type of task method will perform now let's discuss about parameters sometime we have to pass data to the method to perform certain task or operation on that data and that data is called parameters or also called as the arguments suppose if we have to make a pizza then for that we need some ingredients right like cheese pizza base veggies tomato ketchup right so we can write like this so here ingredients are the parameters that we have to use to make a pizza similarly sometime we have to pass data to the method to perform certain task or operation using that data so basically method parameter is a value or a data accepted by the method to accomplish a certain task and method can also have any number of parameters that is we can pass any number of parameters to the method and parameters are separated by the commas 
For example, see here, this add number is a method and this method is going to perform addition, right? So for addition, we need some numbers. So we can pass numbers here as a parameter so that method can use these parameters to perform a addition or we can create method with no parameters. That is, we can create method with zero parameters. For example, method with no parameters. Let's move on how to call a method. Now question is arise why we need to call a method. So we need to call a method to get the expected result from a method. Okay. So to get the expected result from a method, first we need to execute the method. Right. And to execute the method, first we need to call a method. Basically, during the execution, when program invoke a method, then the program control get transferred to the method call and method get execute and we get the result. Method calling is simple. To call a method, first we have to write the method name. Method name followed by two parentheses and at the end there will be a semicolon. Or we can call like this. First we have to create the object and then using that object we can call a method. Either we can call a method like this or we can call a method using object. Now let's understand how to declare a method and how to call a method with the help of an example. Now see here first we are going to declare a method and for that we need to follow the syntax that already I have explained. First the method name. The add number is a method name. Okay. Now I want to declare this method as a public so that this method will accessible in all classes so the access modifier of this method will be a public okay now this method will return sum right that is will return certain number and all numeric number in java is of an integer type okay so the return type of this method would be integer okay this method is going to perform addition right so for addition we need the numbers so we can pass numbers here as a parameters okay so for that first we need to declare the variables to st store that numbers to hold that numbers okay so the all the numbers that is all numerics numbers in a java is of integer types that's why we need integer type of variable okay so we can write like this integer number one and parameters are separated by the commas okay and the second number is an integer number two okay in this way we can pass the parameters now we are going to perform addition okay so number one plus number two okay so this method returns sum right so we need to write here the return statement okay and return statement is used to return value or any data now we are going to discuss about how to call a method remember one thing a method calling is occur inside a main method because the main method is the execution point of a program that is compiler start execution from a main method okay so method calling is a simple for that we need to write method name followed by open and close parenthesis and at the end there will be a semicolon in this way we can call a method now see here this method takes some parameters right so at the time of method calling we also need to pass parameters otherwise compiler will raise an error so we can write like this first we need to declare integer type of variables to hold the numbers okay so we can write like this int p equals to 10 okay and the second number int q equals to suppose 20 okay now we can pass the parameters here p and q in this way we can pass parameters now see here this method returns sum right and to store that sum we need a variable 
because in a java variables are used to store a value or any data so what is a variable how to declare a variable and how to initialize a variable already i have explained in a previous tutorial you can check it out on a link mentioned in a description now we need a integer type of variable to store the value that method will return okay so we can write like this int so suppose sum okay because method will return sum of two numbers right so we can write like this now we can print output on a screen to check whether we are getting output correctly or not and for that we can use println method so println method is a predefined method that java provides us to print output on a screen so we can use it directly so we can write like this system dot out dot println and then sum right sum and at the end there will be a semicolon now i am going to run this code okay now let's see what will happen now see here compiler raise an error cannot make a static reference to the non-static method we are getting this error because in java we can create static method and non-static method so static method is belong to a class and non-static method is belong to an object of a class okay and to call a non-static method first we need to create an object and then using that object we can call it but if we try to call non-static method without creating an object then compiler will raise an error and program won't compile now i am going to declare this method as a static okay so for that first we have to write here a static keyword now this method is a static method and now we can call this method without creating an object okay now i am going to run this code again now let's see what will be the output now see here we got an expected output here without any error or we can call static method using a class name because static method is belong to a class okay so we can call it using a class name so we can write like this the class name is a test right dot method name it's a add numbers and we have to pass here parameters okay and at the end there will be a semicolon in parameters uh, suppose phi u and phi u okay so output should be 10 here okay and um, int total okay now system dot out dot print align and here we have to pass total In this way we can call static method using a class name now let's see what will be the output now see here the output is 10 right so in this way we can call static method now i am going to declare a method with no parameters and void return type so we can write like this public void and uh, method name so display message okay display message method is used to display a message okay and this method won't return any value because we declare this method with void written type okay so we can write like this system dot out dot print ln and suppose message addition of two numbers now see here this method is a non-static method right because we didn't declare any static keyword and to call a non-static method first we need to create an object 
so we can create an object like this test and object suppose obj equals to new test okay in this way we can create an object and by using this object we can call a non-static method so obj dot display message display message so what is an object how to create an object i will explain in upcoming tutorial so for now just try to concentrate on a method so here output should be addition of two numbers sum is 30 and total is 10 okay now let's see now see here we got an expected output so in this way we can call a static methods and non-static methods so this is all about what is the method how to declare a method and how to call a method now i am going to end this session so keep learning and thanks for the watching